Hi friends, in this week's video we are finally back to DIYs. In the first part we're going to make a fringe patio umbrella while recycling an old umbrella. Then we're going to build our eco-friendly sunshade. Starting with the base of the umbrella, I used a big basket, filled it with concrete hollow blocks, covered the basket forming a table, then inserted the umbrella trunk in one of the covers hole. I painted the umbrella with an off-white color. Then I went on for a second coat. I measured the umbrella sides to know the length of the fringe. So I taped the raffia and covered it with a second layer of masking tape of 67 cm length. And I repeated the process 8 times to cover all the sides. Using a metallic wire, I hung the fringe to the umbrella, piercing it every 10 cm. The task looks easy, but I had some struggles on the edges of each fringe, and I solved it by tying the wire around the structure of the umbrella. For a better finishing and to hide the metallic wire, I tied to it a raffia rope. I secured the metallic wires. Then using glue, I stuck the textile covering the wires. I had to paint the other side of the umbrella as well. I trimmed all the raffia fringe to the same length. Approximately 30 cm was perfect for the size of the umbrella. Our recycled fringe umbrella is done. Let's move to the sunshade. Last year, I shared the sketch on my stories if you remember. Then we started the project back in September. So we hung our metallic structure to form our covered area and to have more privacy. But since plants will take like forever to cover the whole space, we decided to use these eco-friendly cane panels. First, Hobby took care of the electricity since we agreed on a pendant light in that area. Then he had to slide the panels on top of the structure. It was relatively an easy task thanks to my help of course. All that is left is to secure the panels while tying them to the structure. Finally the pendant light, it was also made of cane and it added this cozy feel to the space. All I'm thinking right now is to finally style and reveal the whole summer space, so stay tuned for next week. 